and, and pretty soon because of great, great, uh, for a lot of friendly sons, but the parade started. The parade was a fantastic uh, event. And, and as, as I understand it now, if it were not for the friendly sons of St. Patrick, that parade would not continue to be. The money raised uh, uh, by the friendly sons through whatever it is, uh, goes ahead and feeds whatever the costs are to, for the friendly sons, which is a very, very good, uh, you know, it is, it's good. So, but, but back when I, in the 70s, there was no parade and there was no uh, really singing going on on, on, on St. Patrick's Day. It was the black tie, uh, uh, black tie dinner and it was just really kind of uh, uh, judges and lawyers and doctors and whatever, but it, it wasn't as much fun as it, it became. So I, I, would, I would say that, that uh, certainly uh, Mike Neal and his ilk I made that happen, uh, uh, and uh, we had we had a wonderful uh, uh, we had a wonderful tie-in because of Neil and Colonel Kelly and Hondo and whatnot with the military. San Diego is a military town, and and there's a lot of Irish in the military. So uh, uh, I think that was a a big shot in the arm for the friendly sons. Uh, and uh, that, 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 that uh, brought in more members that were patriotic and loved our country and loved being Irish.